How you doing, Matty from the um, Newcastle Channel uh, Magpie TV, Magpie TV, and um, he's smiling at the moment because the big rumors are the big rumors are is that they're about to be taken over by these billionaires from Saudi Arabia. Laughing, mate. Laughing. <laughs> well, What's going to happen? Uh, apparently so. Apparently so. Um, when I was on Sky the other day, Keith Downey, who's the reporter for Sky Sports News up here, he says it's 95% done, Robbie. He said uh, it's literally the Premier League checks now, the due diligence, the checks on the owner, uh, the approval, all that kind of thing. And I kind of see it being a problem. Hopefully, Mike Ashley's time has finally come to an end at Newcastle. What, what are people have been... I mean, Mike Ashley's done one of the few clubs to do the furlough thing. Um mm. And has it reversed it? I mean, there were other clubs, of course. Uh, Tottenham did it, reversed it. Liverpool did it, reversed it. Bournemouth have reversed it. Mm. Mike Ashley's still continuing with it at the moment, isn't he? Exactly. He, that, I think the world found out, or at least this country found out, why Newcastle fans hate Mike Ashley so much. It's, it's not just on the field, it's off the field. And I think, like you say, we've seen the reverse. We've seen the common sense prevail in other clubs, in other owners. With Mike Ashley, profound by greed. All he cares about is money, Robbie. So he still hasn't took a U-turn, and he won't because he's, he's just a stubborn, greedy, horrible man. Uh, this guy here is saying Mbappe to Newcastle, Matt. <laughs> I think, Robbie, Mbappe and nine on the back of there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, the thing is, we, we were debating this the other day, right? This makes Newcastle a serious, serious proposition because I ain't just saying it because you're in here. You've got a brilliant fan base. Home and away. Mm. Everybody knows Newcastle. Even when you even when you get relegated, you still got fifty thousand people coming there. It's, it's with this investment. Could you see Newcastle challenging for the Premier League? I think so. I mean, we, we don't want to get too carried away. The, the thing with Newcastle is we just want to see some investment in the training ground that's been ignored from me. Actually, the, the, the training ground in the academy hasn't been touched in thirteen years since he took over. So that's the first place. We don't want to be fighting relegation every year. That's the next spot. Then can we look towards top five, top six? Can we look towards Europa League? We'd be over the moon with that at the minute in a decent cup run. But these new owners blow Manchester City out of the water, Robbie. I don't know if you've seen the figures, but the way of 10 times that, the way of 10 times the, the shakes at Manchester City. So they're coming here not to, to finish top four. They're coming here to finish first. So <laughs> fingers crossed, mate. <laughs> so, will we, have you in the past made any derogatory comments about Man City and the, and then buying the league and stuff like that? Uh, I think I think we all have, haven't we? Um, and I think yeah, we'll so now, so now you you'll be refusing this money, right? Oh, I definitely. <laughs> 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 it's um, I think Newcastle may quickly become a hated club or bitter towards us and jealousy towards us if, if money does bring you success but I don't think you'll get a single fan turn down what's coming Newcastle's way if it is hundreds of millions of pounds Yo, what must Sunderland fans be thinking right now man you know what I mean they're languishing down in was it uh, League One crying they're, on Netflix that's what they're doing right, <laughs> Netflix and stuff like that With it, and, and now your biggest rivals are getting taken over by some of the richest people in the world Aye, unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I do, man. If like if, and it was being rumoured before that um, Tottenham, you know, some multi-billionaires been looking. Well, they got a multi-billionaire owner already, but like some serious players were looking at taking them over. And I, I was fearful because you know, you know, you take over a club like that. It, what does it do for you as the rival? But you know, um, it will change you, guys, wouldn't it? I it mean, it's quite Dylan. This guy, Dylan, he says, five years in Newcastle will win the Premier League and get ready for another hell right, people. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the goal of the owners. That's the goal of the owners. Like I said, they've said they're coming here. It's Conor McGregor style, not a take part, but a take over. So, fingers crossed, mate. We can only, we can only dream for now. We don't want to get too caught up in it. Um, but if they had to, to you know, do that, then every Newcastle fan, I think, like I say, with Robbie, it's been fi plus 50 years since we even won it. A league cup or an FA Cup, so we've yeah. waited long for a bit of success. Everybody's always saying, isn't it? Newcastle, sleeping giants, that gets used um, a lot of time. I mean, 
What about this one? There's a rumour here um, saying, Matt, is it true that Rafa will be coming back? It Rafa is. Benitez. It is true, yeah. Like I say, if you do believe uh, Sky Sports News, North East correspondent Keith Downey, he said that Amanda Stavely, who's spearheading this takeover for, uh, through the Saudis, she said that she wants Rafa Benitez back. Um, Rafa wants to come back. Rafa wants to carry on the project that he started. He drew up plans and infrastructure for the training ground from top to bottom, he wanted to sort Newcastle United Football Club out. So hopefully now he'll be given the chance. Um, it was funny though because we put this out on Twitter and a lot of Newcastle fans were saying they don't they don't want Rafa back. They want something new, they want something fresh. Uh, they mm. they want an MVP who was obviously linked with, with yourselves at Arsenal. Um, or they want some young hot prospect, maybe maybe a Pochettino or maybe the Ajax manager. But mm. for me, I think all you need to do is you look at Rafa's record, CV, Speaks volumes. He knows the club inside out. So I, I'd mm. start hand off to have Rafa Benitez back. Mm. Uh, Primoz, you said uh, the Saudis wanted Manchester United a year ago, um, but it would have cost them five billion. Now they're only paying three hundred million, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Exactly, Robbie. And they'll only be one United in the Premier League soon enough, mate. And that's Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> well big things uh, Matty listen I want to thank you very much for coming on today really really appreciate it um, and um, you know everybody's doing their bit raising money for the NHS and um, it's been absolutely fantastic if you take your time out and I'm um, looking forward to I don't know but I'm scared now this, 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 to be honest it's better for the league though isn't it it's much better for the league to have so much um, competition it is yeah I think it'll only bring more excitement to the league I mean we need more competition, don't we? Especially with Liverpool yeah. running away. So, hopefully Newcastle can uh, push up there and everyone else can start gathering pace up the league and make it more competitive week in, week out. Yeah. Thank you very much, Matty. Thanks for coming on. The coronavirus has not just affected the world of football, but has affected everybody. But you know what? We can defeat it. If you're displaying any of the symptoms, always make sure that you self-isolate. I know it's a terrible time, but we will defeat the coronavirus. We will be back.